Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to your February forecast. Uh, I would like to begin with the channeled information like I do every month. As you know, I select a deck of cards when I do this, meditate on your sign, and I see what sort of information comes through. As I did that for you, what I saw was somebody pushing away what looked like either overgrown grass or shrubs or trees or something and kind of stepping through. And what I'm seeing for you this month is a need to clear and also sort of reclaim either your space, your energy, or whatever it is that you need to sort of feel grounded in your purpose this month. So I feel like January may have provided this sort of uh, temporary distraction in your life. Maybe there was a lot going on. Maybe you even got sort of quote unquote in the weeds of all of the, um, the activity or the gossip or whatever it was that sort of feels like it's taking uh, residence in your energy or your mind. I encourage you then at the beginning of February to take a day or two and just simply take stock of what's going on. Sometimes we just continue and, and go forward without pausing, whether it's after a job has ended or relationship has ended or, you know, there can be periods in our life, sometimes a few months, a few years, a few decades where it's like the focus is so intense, it's almost like you have blinders on and I'd like you to take the blinders off. Allow yourself ample time to rest. If you meditate, meditate. If not, just sort of like talk to some friends, think about things, tune in, because really all meditation is, is feeling things out with your mind, body, and spirit. So think about your job. Is it providing still a sense of fulfillment or is it something that you're just doing because it's a necessary means to an end? The same sort of thinking can go into how you examine relationships and other situations around you. Are they simply there because they become a habit? Or are you still getting something out of it? Is it still something that's give and take and good for all parties considered? Uh, if not, it's time to reevaluate and think about how you can make them healthier and more uh, reciprocal. And uh, perhaps this is a chance for you to explore new things in your life to, to decide, could I be doing something different? So once you've cleared out sort of all of these habits, all of this, noise, all of the sort of inability, for some of you could just be the blinders, take the blinders off and truly uh, taste what's going on on a sort of energy level in your life and think, does this still sit well with me? If it does, continue. If it doesn't, make some changes. And then what I also see for many of you is just simply a clearing. So uh, this could mean that if there's been a lot of work and not a lot of progress made, you could actually see something develop or see some sort of uh, array of clarity or hope this month. So I want you to keep your, your mind in a very positive place this month, knowing that thoughts manifest and be open to possibilities and try to find a way around or out of something if it doesn't feel good. All of this is, is going to open you up to um, abundance, to new things. And I think that's the most important thing is to not feel defeated this month, to feel like you're always open to something developing, something creating a, a new sort of opportunity in your life. And that's going to be essential. Now, as we look at all of the cards, I'll keep an eye out for uh, any sort of beacons that can kind of help you get into that path or into that clearing. Uh, but without any further delay, let's go ahead now and shuffle all the cards, lay them out and get talking about this month. I'm going to pull the camera down now and we'll go ahead and take a look at past, present and future influences. And as I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and put all of the cards out first and then I'll uh, one by one break down what each means for you. So give me a moment. As always, I like to put a catalyst card into this spread, which shows how everything is connected and it'll be sitting at the top of the spread here so we can see how it's going to influence everything. And now I'll put all of the expanded cards here at the bottom, health, wealth, love, and destiny. Uh, I'm going to be quiet now as I lay out all of the remaining cards and don't worry, I'll have a chance to pull the camera down again if you don't have a chance to see this while I'm pulling the cards. In the catalyst position here, we have 
uh, the no card. And basically what this is showing you is the power of the word no, creating limits, and also some of the dangers associated with negative thought. So first, let's look at the positive use of it. Whenever I see no pop up in a spread, it's showing me that for some of you, there may be a need to simply use that magical word. It's short, it's simple, but its power can't be underestimated. So if there are people in your life that are asking too much, that are overreaching their boundaries, um, that just need to sort of understand that something isn't acceptable, I'm encouraging you to put healthy limits. So whether you use the word no, or you use some sort of alternative such as this isn't the right time or not yet or ask me again next week. Whatever it is, it's about pushing back a little bit so that you have space to breathe. And again, looking at that uh, channeled information, the catalyst card is showing you that you have to use your own sort of words or actions this month to show others where they need to show up and where they need to give you space. So no is simply about setting limits. The second piece of that card, though, also indicates the power of negative thought. On one side of the equation, no for you could be a decision, no more of this. Not just about other people in your life, but it could actually be deciding to walk away from something that doesn't feel good, a habit, um, you know, whether it's drinking, smoking, or some other sort of destructive habit in your life, or deciding that it's time to let go of a relationship or something else like that. Now. I want you to be cautious, however, that no sometimes can be thinking you can't do it. And uh, like you can't achieve a goal, that you're not good enough, that someone is gonna say no. So I don't want you to give into the fear side of no. There are so many positive things, creating limits, letting go of things, and then the one thing that you wanna be careful of is this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy that I can't, I won't, I shouldn't, um, especially when it comes to achieving your dreams. So embrace all of the positive, uh, with that card, with the concept of using no in your life, but don't limit yourself. Does that make sense? Because everything else is freeing you up. When you say no to someone, you create space. When you uh, release an old habit, you make room for something healthier. But when you think, no, I'm not going to do this just because either you lack initiative, uh, trust, or self-confidence, then you're limiting yourself from growth. So balance it out. This is why you need some time at the beginning of the month to really take stock in things, even if you want to make lists, because that's another way to meditate. All meditation means is getting a little bit out of your headspace and going beyond. So for some of you, when you write, um, you're able to channel. So if you want to make a list or draw a picture or somehow sort of disconnect and just tune into the energy of something, that's going to help you when, um, when you're kind of thinking about what no means to you. Let's go ahead and look at past, present, and future influences this month. Uh, I want many of you to kind of Look at your emotional state as the month begins. Queen of Cups in reverse is showing that some of you are either feeling tapped out a little bit or perhaps feeling sadder than usual. And uh, the emotional energy this month could sway you in a, in a way that isn't necessarily productive. So focus on healing yourself and whatever it is that you've done to feel depleted or feel a sense of um, not, not being your normal self allow for that healing to take place again the earlier the better because that's showing up in past influences as we look at what's really coming through this month in the present we have the emperor card or the lord here and with this card there's an ability to make some decisions about priorities and how you're going to delegate things in your life you can decide to really try to do as much as possible or, and I advise this, deciding on one or two things and letting the other things kind of go. It's prioritization that was really following through with what we saw with both the catalyst and the channeled information. So you have choices, you have more power than you think, and I encourage you to use that. And also realize that there are people around you looking up to you, whether or not you understand that that's happening. Sometimes you can be like a younger, or, um, a younger brother or sister to someone, or a, a younger in years or experienced in an organization to somebody and they look at you as a leader because you carry a sort of um, you carry a wisdom beyond your years or beyond your status and I want you to know that that's the most important thing that matters it's not about how much schooling you have how many years you've traveled on this planet who you're connected to it's what you do with the energy that you have and what, what you do with the opportunities in front of you and also how in tune you are to your soul and to your past experiences in previous lives. 
that's what really that's where the wisdom uh, is existing and when i'm looking at this emperor card many of you have been around this world a few times this isn't your first rodeo <laughs> so to speak so i want you to own it and think i am i am ancient i am uh, rich with wisdom and i'm ready for everything in front of me i'm going to act my soul's age this month i'm going to really inspire myself and inspire others around me to see me for the uh, the wise ancient mystic person that i am so choose accordingly as we look at future opportunities we have the prince of pentacles i love this because it's showing growth and development and movement in the money sector for you um, some of you may have a new job opportunity or a new growth opportunity on the horizon. Some of you may also be uh, experiencing a new partnership with an earth sign coming into your life. Great month for any sort of business development and really starting to, even if you don't see the growth immediately, know that whatever seeds you plant this month, it feels like they're going to really uh, spring forth over the next month or two. So I encourage you to put energy into development this month, personal or business. Let's now expand the forecast and look at health, wealth, love, and destiny for a little bit more specifics on what you can do. In your health card here, we have the throat chakra. It was reversed, which is showing a need to focus on healing, activating, or using to its best extent the throat, the, your own voice, in other words. Um, on a metaphysical level, this is about speaking your truth and also making sure that truth and love uh, is really the frequency with which you use this chakra. Um, so when you're looking at what's going on around you, it can be a card of becoming an activist or an advocate for voices that are not allowed to speak up. We've noticed a lot of that over the past couple of years, people speaking out against abuse, misconduct, etc. And so if this is something that is existing in your life, someone you love, or you're looking at the world in general and you think, I want to make a change, this is where you can activate your voice and decide to be a part of that. It can also just be simply about setting the limits, and we saw that in both the channeled information about pushing back or using the word no, or not allowing people to do something where uh, they said they were going to show up and produce, but they didn't, and now you need to hold them accountable. So whether it's setting a limit or holding someone to their accountability, speaking up is important this month. Also just being true to yourself. So if you're saying something but you don't feel it, whether it's I love you or the job that you're doing or whatever, this is a, a check-in, a sort of checkpoint saying, you shouldn't do this anymore. What can you do to be better? What can you do to resolve this? And uh, you'll know best what to do with that. The other piece of this equation is to focus, of course, on the health and well-being of literally this area of your body. So your uh, vocal cords, your larynx, your um, for, for some of you, this could be your thyroid. It can even be the back of your neck. Basically, everything that extends around your throat chakra. So if there's any family history of illness or you're feeling some sort of discomfort in this area, it's really important for you to take care of it and uh, to get that remedied this month, okay? So focusing on speaking your truth and also being as healthy as you can with everything around the throat area, uh, that's going to help you, not just now, but in the future as well. When we look at wealth, there is opportunities abounding this month, either by using your um, spirit-given gifts, whether it's you're an artist or you have a really great mind for business or you're a natural healer. This is about tapping into those gifts and honoring the fact that you are gifted. Everyone has something unique that they bring to this planet, even if they don't realize it. It's also about um, gifting or giving things to others, helping them. So if you're in a place where you can be philanthropic or um, a mentor because the Emperor card can also be someone who inspires others or helps others, then this is a month to activate that, to give back, to pay it forward. So if you've been someone who's been lucky enough to receive help and you would like to sort of balance out the equation, that's a, this is a great time to do it. Really nothing negative coming into um, the area of wealth and money this month other than if you're ignoring a gift, um, an opportunity that you have based on something you can do, perhaps you're not speaking your truth or working your truth. These two cards are basically saying, don't lose track of who you are, what you want to be, and know that when you are in line uh, or in alignment with that, you're going to have the most success and feel the richest, whether or not it's in uh, the love that you're receiving or the money that's coming into your life. 
Uh, when we're looking at relationships here, we have a nurture card. It says, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So this is about allowing for any sort of healing that needs to happen to happen. I spoke at pretty good length about how that could be about standing up for something that you believe in or if someone in your life, the present or the past, wronged you. This could be a time to either um, try to make peace with that or if something needs to be done to rectify it to do that now and then once you've healed that inner child to move forward and to help yourself and help others all right in the future here we have the universe works fast when i'm having fun the card was reversed which is showing for some of you a resistance to sort of just enjoy or be in the space of joy and when you are laughing when you're smiling when you're feeling love and uh, sort of this jubilation then the universe starts to kind of rush in and wants to give you more so realize that it's not only okay, but I would say that it's, um, it's an integral part of happiness, I'm sorry, of success to be happy. Um, they're one and the same. There's a nice little Venn diagram where the more satisfied you are, the more work you can do, the more productivity you can have. So whether it's for yourself, for your business, for your family, um, try, to, try to have fun. Try to do something just for the sake of enjoyment this month, and it's going to be really important. Let's go ahead and review all the messages that came through this month. At the top, we have that powerful message of all the different pieces that no can represent, whether it's a limit or whether it's um, separating yourself from something you don't want, a habit, or it's understanding that you don't want to uh, limit yourself. All of those things are going to come into play this month. Getting a check and a handle on your emotions, uh, whether it's something that's going on now or in the past, I think it's really important for success this month and health this month knowing that there are so many ways that you can take this emperor energy that's presenting itself. Uh, at the very least, knowing that you stand at the wheel um, of your car or your life or your ship, however you want to use the metaphor, you have a lot, of an, a lot of ability to steer it in the direction you'd like. I see a lot of development with work, with finance, and for some of you even love coming through. Knowing that you need to speak your truth, that you need to also heal the past if there's something involved with not being able to stand up for yourself or speak your truth. Knowing that when you work in your gifts and you work in your joy, that success and happiness is something that comes much faster. And that's why it's saying also that the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So everything you heard here were the messages that you needed to receive this month. I hope that they provided the clarity that you need to feel empowered, uh, in control, and ready for all of the opportunities and challenges that face you. But if you ever want to explore something in a little bit more depth than I can do here in a general reading, feel free to reach out. You'll see three links below the video. The first will allow you to book an appointment if that feels right for you. The second link is just a way to say thanks, and it's something that's optional, but it definitely helps create new content here. So if you like what you see, and you'd like to donate a dollar or more one time or on a monthly basis, know that that really helps out with video production, and I would appreciate it. Um, I'll put some information at the bottom, and you can feel free to do so if you'd like. Otherwise, a great way to just support the channel uh, in, a, in an easy, one-click way is to subscribe and to like. You can also opt into notifications so you know when new videos are produced. Um, I'm on social media as well, so the third link below the video will allow you to connect to me uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also my newsletter, and anything that I neglected to list here. So um, I'd love for you to join me on those. Finally, and most importantly, I like to end every uh, video with gratitude. Gratitude for the work that you're doing on yourself. Whether or not you know it, it makes not only your life better, but everyone's lives around you is going to improve and their frequency will raise as yours raises. And that's really what I'm trying to do for the planet. One person at a time, one video at a time, is to kind of help spark change, hope, and hopefully for all of you this sense of, I can also help others. So I want everyone here to be able to uh, take their lives, put it in a better direction, and to lift the energy, the hearts, the spirits of those around them as well. This month, I want you to remember the power of saying no, of speaking up and doing what's important to you, of just simply being in a place where you're honoring what you love, what you love to do, and in that joy, realizing that change happens more quickly. This is your message. This is the power that you have this month, and know that when you're existing in that power, you inspire others around you. Wishing you love, light, and success now and always. I'll see you again soon.